Honeybees are really important in agriculture and one of the biggest diseases that affects honeybees is called American foulbrood. This bacteria infects the larvae, just the very young honeybees, and destroys them and is very, very, very contagious. The bees themselves can spread it from hive to hive and that can cause the entire colony to collapse. The only treatment for foulbrood in the past has been antibiotics. Unfortunately, a lot of the strains of disease are becoming resistant to these antibiotics. If the antibiotic doesn't work, the beekeeper would have to seal the bees inside the hive and burn it down. The losses from American foul brood in the bee industry can be hundreds of millions of dollars. At BYU, we're doing research on phages that will infect and kill American foul brood. Phages are viruses that infect bacteria. Phages are the most abundant life form on Earth. There are phages in the soil, in the air. They kind of look like a, a lunar lander a little bit with the cats and a long tail and these spindly legs that come out and bind onto the bacteria. So when a phage attaches onto a bacteria, it will, it'll, it'll tuck down and embed itself in the membrane. And it will inject the DNA information from the phage into the bacteria and use its own DNA copies inside the bacteria to make more phage progeny. When the phage progeny develop enough, they can actually break open and the bacteria is dead and it releases thousands more phages. At BYU, we are sequencing the DNA so we can see what are the genes that are in these phages. Somebody gave us a frame of cow brew that they got from their hive. The larva has been basically eaten by the bacteria and turned into a very soupy, stringy mess. The phages that we want to find are phages that will infect and kill the bacteria that causes American foul brood. The way that we isolate specific phages out of a sample that may contain hundreds or even millions of phages is we mix the sample with the bacteria that we're trying to isolate. If there are phages present, they'll amplify it. We'll put the bacteria on the petri dish and then we'll add our phage sample on top. And then if we can see places on this petri dish that are clear, they have no bacteria, we know that a phage is responsible for that and we can continue working with that spot and isolating the phage further. By isolating them from the environment, and then using them for a specific purpose, it's an organic treatment. Because we haven't changed anything, we haven't modified anything, we're just using nature's natural bacteria killers to fit our specific purpose. It's exciting for us at BYU to do phage research, especially on this particular bacteria, because this is clearly a worldwide problem in honeybees. We've published five full genome sequences, and so far only one other genome sequence for a phage against the American foul brood has been published. The phages are all in solution, so we prepare a sugar water solution of the phages and spray it on the beehives. When the bees get sprayed with sugar water, they stop and clean themselves. This is really useful because the nurse bees that get sprayed are gonna clean themselves and then they're also gonna go and feed the larva. You're able to go to a beekeeper and to see their infected hive and apply our phage treatment, we could see noticeable improvement in the hive, which was really, really satisfying to know that something we developed in the lab was actually working in the field.